You know, a simple carrot may not mean much to you or me, but the buster here, it's pretty exciting. You know, if you're uh, satisfied or happy by something simple, I say go for it. Enjoy the life. job on this poppy and put the first lines of the Flanders Fields poem on the uh, the XL76 price or, or uh, draw saw uh, for the indigo saw draw so uh, she's done her part and she touched all this up and did a nice job on it it's our job to get the bar and chain ready uh, which <laughs> uh, funny enough I've already got it done at this point but I'm filming it now so if this is the first you're hearing of all this, yeah, we're raffling off that XL76 and it's going to go to the uh, Canadian Veterans. I'll take it to the Royal Canadian Legion and put it towards their poppy fund there. And uh, and uh, well, Dan's got one too. I sent him a, a Power Machinery 340 and he's going to get that uh, done up and uh, what we raffle off for that is going to go to the American Veterans. And uh, if you want to get in on that, it's 20 bucks per ticket. And we've got them for sale on ButlerOutdoorsCanada.com. I'll put a little link in the description below there. Uh, but yeah, it's just a nice way to give back to the uh, to the veterans, and uh, we'll probably do a few more of these indigo sadras, and, uh, and it's just a you know uh, a message of kindness, an act of kindness, and you know it's a legacy for for our dear sweet indigo. So uh, let's get on and, and uh, get on to what I did with this here bar. Okay, so we got the bar in here where she's warm, and we're gonna do the old uh, bar dresser upper with the handy dandy bar dresser upper tool. Uh, I already gave her a rinse with some brake clean, uh, and we'll do the old wire wheel treatment, and we'll get her nice and clean. I decided against painting it, just because painting it, you know, you're going to put it in the wood and the paint's going to peel off. I've done it to a couple bars, and it holds up okay, but you're never going to get all those ugly scratch marks in it, and it's just, uh Also, Dan, here's your recall. We found one in the part shed there. She is indeed Lee, a 3071 Pioneer. Focus. I don't know if you can see that, but it is indeed a farm, or a Pioneer 3071, and look at that. I mean, you might have to clean it up a little bit. There she goes. Recoil for you. So, there she be. I just gave her another rinse with uh, brake clean to get the metal filings off of it. Rails are all cleaned up, got the mushrooms off the side, so it's nice and even. So, yeah, we decided just to clean it up there and uh, not paint it so it would still be, you know, usable and nobody would be worried about scratching up the paint, right? And it's actually not a bad bar. It's in decent shape other than, you know, someone got a little hot one time, but, you know, that happens. And I'm just going to get this chain a little cleaner before I go ahead and put it on and sharpen up. The Bushman Secret Weapon WD-40. And then just give her a good little soaky poo and all the goo comes off. If you watch closely... You can see the brown schmoo remove. So today's cast of kindness is going to go to Eric over at the Hot Bucks Pizza Truck. If you haven't checked out his channel, I highly suggest you do so. Super nice guy, and he's cooking some delicious pizzas over there with the wood fire pizza oven. So you get to see him fire it up there right beside the fire and everything else and get the nice little charm marks and everything on that. And he's got some really tasty looking recipes going on over there. I highly suggest you check that out. Uh, prepare to get the get the do, do drooly bib or uh, you know something. Just be prepared, be prepared to have him melt water. But at any rate, uh, he's a huge support to the chainsaw community. He supports uh, a whole whack of our channels here, mine being one of them. And uh, you know he uh, he sent the hat and everything to Dan and and one for me and uh, the list goes on. Just a super kind guy, and he's just uh, he's doing some wonderful things with them pizzas over there, and uh, he's doing some really kind things to our community. So for that, cast the kindness to you there. Also, we got a nice note and two new stickers sent to us from Mike at Life in the 906. Make sure you check out that guy's channel. Very nice fella. And uh, you always got some nice words to say. And I noticed that you added that to your, your sticker there. Because I got the one from him there that I don't know. I think I maybe showed it to you guys briefly in one video. 
But uh, we got that on the Bushman's Buddies plaque here, which, I mean, if you guys got a sticker, send it to me as I want to I wanna brag about my buddies. And uh, let's go get another one of those Life on 906 stickers on the front. Eh, now we got my best friend Mike next to my best friend Jay. That's under my, my best friend Largemouth Bass. That's next to my best friend Awards. And, well, got to have yours truly on there too, right? Oh well, yeah, so an update on the black truck. She's fixed, she'll be home soon. Um, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna put that on the black truck. I'm just gonna stick it up here with the trinkets for now. And uh, it can sit and look pretty till uh, we get there back. And probably next week we'll have the black truck back. I don't know if I'm gonna start driving it or I'll just keep driving the green machine. I like the green machine. Also, maybe we should come up with a nickname for the green pig. What do you guys think? Any ideas? So, uh, you know, I guess it goes without saying, this doll chain is probably the reason for the burn marks on the bar. You don't want to run your uh, chains doll, guys, there. It, uh, it over revs the motor, too, eh? So, uh, you're not working at the proper workload. It's not good for the motor, and you're going to overheat your bar because it's it's just rubbing and, and causing friction. The other way you can do this is if you're not getting oil, too, right? That's also a possibility. And uh, uh, all these other things. But at any rate, yeah, let's get this sharpened up. Well, the other thing I noticed on here is uh, on the chain here, she's got SW stamped on it. If you can see that there, but uh, any of you experts out there, if you know what that means on this SW chain, I've never seen that personally. I'm uh, more or less uh, usual to the you know the casual standard organ. But uh, any rate, let's get this sharp. Here she be. She's all sharp, dressed, and ready for the ball. So. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and get on to the website at uh, www.butleroutdoorscanada.com uh, and uh, get yourself in on the draw. We're going to do this on the 10th of November, uh, which I believe is next week. And um, I think we'll do a live stream uh, at, uh, at noon, a noon, a noon o'clock, and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll raffle it off to, uh, to the lucky winner. But, uh, yeah, and the other thing I have did with it, too, is we put, uh, we put a little indigo circle on there uh, uh in honor of indigo too when we touched up this side too so hey, there you go i don't have to touch up that uh, chain loosened up a bit on me while i was uh while I was sharpening her up but at any rate hope you enjoyed that till next time take her easy and be safe that's that